Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now we have a very quick video that I have to make because I literally was about to go to Target and then I got a notification on my email saying that there was a new exclusive pre-launch on Louis Vuitton. So I don't know if you guys are subscribed to the email. I'm sure majority of you guys are, but I thought we should talk about it really quick. So let's dive into it. Alrighty, so here is the email that I got really quick. So right when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to talk about this. So as you can see, there is a new on prompt pm and let's just click explore guys 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 it's a freaking navy blue and i don't know if i've mentioned this on youtube yet but i've actually been really wanting an on the go pm in the on prompt leather i mean obviously you guys know my dream is for them to come out with this in reverse canvas but you know because there's two bags there's only two bags left that i want seriously from louis vuitton and one of them is already in reverse canvas i mean i guess they're both in reverse canvas so then i was thinking do i really need two bags that are in reverse canvas so here we have the on the go pm in this navy on prompt oh guys if you guys haven't checked out just a video in general about the on the go pm you really need to there's this one lady i'll link her channel down below in the video where she got the black pm oh my god it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and the fact that this is a navy so if any of you guys have ever low-key wanted the christian dior book tote in the navy oblique because that one is obviously the most popular one i think this would be such a good alternative to this like extremely so if anything i think they're about the same price or maybe this one's even cheaper because the pm size is a little bit smaller than the original christian dior book tote the christian dior book tote in their their small size used to be 2700 that's when when i bought it, it was like 2650 2700 but now it is i believe over 3k but this is all on prompt leather and oh my goodness it's so pretty i am so tempted to buy this i legit ran all the way downstairs to show my mom this and my mom the first thing she said was because i was like i went to my mom and i was like i have a bag addiction and she's like show me the bag that you're talking about and then i showed this to her and no joke so serious she's like oh that bag is really ordinary and i was like oh, i got so offended and then she told me she was like don't you have a bag similar to this and she's talking about my dior book tote and in her mind she's like the bag is ordinary the color is nice but she says that it's boring and in all honesty it made me feel better because i was so close i was legit this close to buying the bag especially the fact that it's still available and it's still available right now you can see that it says in stock i my favorite thing about this is not even just the color i love that it has the silver hardware on it i feel like the silver hardware against this kind of navy denim blue color makes it just look so clean and nice oh, and this has a strap i'm just i'm so obsessed i'm so obsessed because there's two bags on my wish list for 2022 that are both navy if you guys would like an updated luxury wish list please give this video a thumbs up and i will totally do that for you but yeah so this on the go toque embodies two well technically four bags that i'm deciding between two of them are navy and this is navy and then the other two are reverse canvas so but okay so let's go for the rest so obviously we have the same kind of theme the silver hardware with the navy on prompt leather i think this bag is cute but i've just never been a fan of this bag this one is already sold out <clears throat> i think price point wise it's not bad two thousand dollars um especially because again like i said it is on prompt and this looks like a really cute kind of wallet on the chain yeah i think it's cute i wish there was a picture of the chain on like somebody wearing it but you can see that the chain drop length is pretty short so it's for sure like a shoulder bag less of like a chanel walk okay guys this so they have the speedy 20 in the on prompt leather i'm so glad this is not that ugly puffy thing that they had before and if you guys notice on the opening i love that the opening actually goes down so it actually is way easier whereas if you have the nano speedy the nano speedy itself it just opens from the top and it's really really annoying if you guys want to see the difference let me just grab it just so you guys can kind of see Alrighty, so i grabbed my nano speedy just for reference so if you guys see the difference how the nano speedy literally just opens from the top down like this okay whereas the new speedy 20 in the on prompt leather that little just like what two to three centimeters going down on the side actually makes a huge difference when you're opening and closing things and again like i said the silver zipper against this navy blue color is stunning absolutely stunning 2500 i mean that is expensive i wonder if they made a canvas version of this how much it would be 
If it was $2,000, I'd be so angry. So angry. Okay, so they do have a little card holder too. I think this is actually pretty cute. And the price point is actually pretty fair. I think this is pretty fair. A little bit expensive though for kind of how simple this is because a mini pochette was like I believe like 460 remember they had that pink one that one was like 462 so they have a key pouch too 410 I feel like that's kind of expensive I feel like this should be maybe like 375 but who knows who knows this is exclusive I think this is really cute I just oh my gosh the silver against the navy blue like I just I can't get over it of course this is out of stock of course this is out of stock I bet you the key pouch was the number one thing that was out of stock first and then we just have their regular zippy wallet um, I'm not gonna zoom in on that just because it's just your normal zippy wallets oh this one I actually really really like this a lot a lot a lot a lot I love that there's a coin section but if you guys see here, I just, I don't know, I really like card cases and this reminds me a lot of the men's pocket organizers. I actually, not that I need obviously another SLG, but I, I do eventually want to add a card case which has card slots going like vertically as opposed to, you know, horizontally where you put the card like this. I actually like card cases that you put them vertically and this one does that and on top of that, this one does come with a little coin area too. If this wasn't a thousand dollars... I would have bought it honestly I would say this should probably be ranged around like 7 720 considering the material exclusivity and then look I actually really like this there's a little card slot on the back that you can put like your driver's license or your debit card just something like really close by but I think a thousand and eighty is a little steep because I could buy a bag with this like you could literally buy a Prada mini bag even though it's nylon like that's so much bigger than this but yes alrighty so the next thing we have are the speedy 25s in the emprunt leather so this one I like that they actually have a picture of the model wearing it I feel like the size is so perfect I think it's just slightly smaller than the Boston bag but small enough that it just I don't know it's enough for me I really actually like the black and the beige together I think it looks really really cute how much is this? 20 80, 70. Um, hmm. I think that's a little bit expensive <laughs> for me personally. So, okay, let's go back. Let's go back. But it is cute. I can't, I can't deny how cute it is. All right, so we, they also have the Speedy 20. Oh, okay. So the one that's just all one color is a little bit cheaper. It's like $200 cheaper. I think this one's cute too. And as you guys can see, this one does have the gold hardware as opposed to the silver with the navy. And yeah, just your normal Speedy 25. This one is also in stock. And then, oh guys, so this one, oh my God. So... So, 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 I'm honestly really surprised that this is still available right now. You see, it says in cart. I could no joke add this into my cart. So, 2,440. And this is so freaking cute. This is literally what I wish the Speedy BBs chain was. Obviously, this one has like the giant crests and the LV, whereas the Speedy BB was very muted and understated. So I do believe that the Speedy BB was in lambskin. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm leaning towards it. Whereas obviously the Omprompt leather is in calfskin. Let me just triple check. Yeah, so this one is in calfskin. Oh, this is really really cute i feel like the size is really nice even though a lot of people said that the speedy bb you can actually fit in a lot but this one is just mm, this is what i hope the small boston bag size is but i've seen pictures of the small celine boston bag and that one is a little bit taller where this is more like long but it is really cute see i love that it has the leather and then the little bit of chain on the side i think that looks super elegant super super nice and of course i love that the chain um, the strap is adjustable and removable too. So you can see it has the little D-rings on the side. Yeah. I mean, I don't need a bag that looks like this, but this is so cute. I just want them. I still honestly, okay, if I had to pick between this one and the Speedy BB, I would still pick the Speedy BB even though I don't like the chain on the Speedy BB. I just like the overall aesthetic of the Speedy BB. But if you're looking for something more for every day i feel like going with the speedy bandoulier 20 would be better let's just look at a couple more things really quick so i've seen this bag before um 
I feel like it's a little too big. As you can see right here, the ones that are just regular color versus the two-tone color, the two-tone color one is about $300 more expensive. I don't know, I feel like this bag is just a little too big for someone like me. It has very, I don't know, I don't want to say Birkin vibes, but let's just say Birkin vibes, but not obviously not Birkin vibes. Like this is like an LV version, but it is a very work bag, I feel. How much is this? Yeah, $32.50. And then let's just look at the two-toned one really quick. Okay, so this one has a picture of the girl with it. And yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe the model's really tall. I mean, she probably is like 5'9 or something. But do you see how much it eats like her body? Like this is her legs and her torso together. And it literally takes up almost half of her thigh. The drop length, it's not even that the drop length is long. It's just the bag is that big. And I feel like that's very awkward. I don't know you guys i mean it goes with her vibe and her aesthetic but i feel like for someone like me this bag this bag would be wearing me and you never want a bag to be wearing you you should be wearing the bag but while this is sold out i'm low-key a little bit surprised let's see what else we just have a couple of scarves oh i guess they do have a tiny version of it let's just look at the tiny one really quick if they show the model I mean, this one is smaller. If I had to choose between the regular one and the petite one, I would definitely pick the petite one. But still, it's not really my style. I feel like this is too businesswoman-esque. It's like Rihanna type aesthetic, like that that real boss woman vibe. And then the last thing we're going to look at is just this little tiny backpack. They did have this backpack in the By the Pool collection, but that one was like this tan peach ombre, which I actually really liked. My favorite thing about this backpack is actually the back. I love that the there's like a little card slot area. I wonder if your phone can fit in it. I know your phone can fit in this backpack, but I wonder if it can fit in the side or if that's only for card holders and things like that. So this is out of stock. I'm not surprised at all. See, imagine if they came out with this in like a reverse mono or just a regular mono. I feel like that'd be really cute. Or just canvas in general. I just don't get why they don't make really popular items in everything because then they could make so much money with that but i guess they're trying to make it more special 2100 i think is not bad i know this is smaller than the palm strings mini and it is slightly more expensive but i feel like price point wise considering it is on prompt leather and it's tiny usually tiny bags are overpriced i think price point is not bad because the reverse palm strings mini i believe is like 20 21 2200 and that one's canvas too so i don't think there's anything else let's just oh yes okay so the capucines bag this color combination i'm all for because there's black and brown together and there's this like lilac -y pink color on the strap i really really enjoy this strap i think this is so cute if it wasn't so expensive this would be on my wish list i actually really like this color combination it's 5150 it's very very expensive the only critique i have for this bag is me personally i wish they didn't make the lv with the white leather on it i wish it was just gold like it was just the hardware i feel like the lv having this white on it gives me kind of like cowboy cowgirl aesthetic vibes you know it's very common when they have those pants where there's like white and brown leather that's instantly what i thought of but i love the straps i love the gold i love the black handle everything i think this is very very cute but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick impromptu video let me know if you guys are picking anything up from this collection oh that on the go pm it's definitely my favorite and that clay wallet card case thing it's definitely two of my favorites if i had money to spend i would buy those two items there's just a couple other bags that i'm really deciding between even though i know i said i wasn't buying anything for the rest of the year if i did get something it would be probably less than 2500 for sure i don't plan on getting like anything super super expensive like no chanel is on my wish list i mean a card holder but that's that's not a bag obviously so i'm debating between like five bags right now like just seriously debating and i only want to get one of them so yeah it 
don't you ever like feel better when you show somebody something that you want like really want and it's expensive and then they hate on it and then it kind of adds peace of mind like okay yeah 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 you know what i don't need it you think it's ugly you think it's boring well my mom said that the on the go in the navy was boring she literally said it was ordinary you don't need it now i don't need it i'm just keep telling myself but please can somebody buy it and send me an instagram dm send it to my luxury account because i actually open those messages a lot more frequent than i open my own messages please somebody buy it it's just it's so beautiful so beautiful or i'll just wait literally i'll just google on youtube and just wait until somebody buys this bag so i can see it and just be so jealous oh so jealous so if you guys enjoyed these quick little reviews this is my version of a short it's not really a short it's just a short video <laughs> Maybe it's not even that short because I've been talking for quite a bit as always if you guys enjoyed this video Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys